Well, I'm gonna start uh, working on disassembling the alternator from the list of diesel and uh, I need to get in the junction box. Just have a look around, it's probably be bloody heavy work. I'll work, I can uncouple this thing here somehow from the flywheel and uh, get these bolts off here and see uh, how I can uh, get this thing shifted. You look at this for me, I might put some lubricant on these bolts and so. I'm just going to open this up carefully and uh, see what we can find. Everything is also heavy. I get some fuses here. Spare fuses, that's quite cool. Have a look, let's analyze this first. It's interesting, the phasing going in here is yellow, blue, red. And they cost the wires here, so I need to document that carefully. Now, four capacitors. I haven't determined what value, they're all going to one of the phase terminals. So I need to take the other cover off and have a look behind there to see what we can see there. Okay, that's the bottom of the terminal box. It was red, white, blue connected to red, yellow, blue. And an active and a neutral that goes, I think, to the battery charging part. The built-in charger. So I'm going to document this again. It goes that way. I'll take some photos as well to have it all clear. So I'm in the process now loosening things up. Um, just loosen this whole box, taking it off. Take these wires out. And then uh, hopefully I can uh, get these screws out here first. And bolt the, the generator alternator head, take these pins out, these screws. And then I can slide slide the whole thing away so let's hope that works this is 230 volts supply to something I think it's a charger charging device or something this is the other control box I likely can leave it on the Jenny I think the left wire is a start circuit and then they got some reference ones here it appears the red and the black wire they I think it's speed control or something get the reference for the 50 Hertz so that looks all right so. This documentation. And let's look at these uh, generator screws come out of these bolts. I guess this is a locating pin somehow. But uh, yeah, I can get them out. So there it goes. Four of those. Oh, yeah, nice. Sniff on out. That's good. Good start, and they're pretty, pretty long, so I get those out. Another good look in here, it's like you hard to see what's uh, happened in this part here. But hopefully, it will get revealed a bit better when we get this apart. Let's get this guard, I need to take it away from the other side to get access to this bolt to get a bit of more pivot on it. So, yeah, I need to take that away. So, I need to go to the other side of the device. Okay, got the bolts out. Um, next step, and hopefully somebody can help me with that. Um, I had a look here. Flywheel, you got these big bolts. I'm not sure if the tester come out because there is uh, that is the type of rubber this uh, thing at the back. Uh, heavy this this material here. Um, like a normal car engines, you think the drive shaft will slide out of the flywheel. So I'm not sure, uh, so that's why I saw the question in anyone uh, who knows, uh, does it slide out, yay or nay, I'm not too sure. Um, the guide pins are still in, so I need to find a tackle or something to lift this bloody thing out. And yeah, see how that's going to work, so yeah, please uh, reply. I'll do a YouTube search anyway, but uh, yeah. Now I have to get this uh, device uh, removed from the actual uh, lister.